Hey guys, what's up? This is part two of the jailbreaking video. So there's the other video right there that I just did. And now it's time for part two. So you would have just got Cydia on your iPod. It's going to be on your last page, like probably about here. And um, it's going to be a, just white. The icon is just going to be white and it's going to say Cydia. And if you try to open it, it'll just crash and it'll come out to, of the app. So what you're going to want to do is what I did. You want to go to Extras and Just Boot. So it's pretty much the same as when you jailbroke it. Um, that's what I did, if you remember, from the last video. So you need to Just Boot it. And a bunch of codes and stuff will go come up on your iPod. And then the pineapple with the bite out of it again. And then once you've done that, you're back on your iPod. And the City app is just brown and it's a box inside a circle then you're good to go and you can continue the video okay so now I'm going to show you the be uh, wh what to do so now you got city okay well my iPod can't do anything cool yet so this is what you want to do you go into city now sometimes city is really uh, city is really quick when you first try it but after you've got a couple of tweaks, tweaks is what you call like the app things that you download, um, it gets a little slower. So you want to go into manage, click sources, and you should have everything I have here except repo and Excelize. So you're going to want to add those. So this right here is what you need to add. So um, you want to click edit add and then you're gonna add those URLs so um, let me just get out of this for a sec you wanna you wanna type in this exactly and then you wanna click add or whatever and then you wanna get you wanna go back and add this one now you pause the video to look at these and then just add them and once you've done that then continue. Okay, so this is where you get your um, your see a tweaks as they call them. So the first one you probably want is Barrel. So search Barrel. Now Barrel is a paid for app, so it's blue right here. But for the thing I showed you, see it's from, say it says from Excelize. That's the one URL I showed you to get. Um, it's a thing so you can get most of the apps for free. That's why I showed you how to get it. So this green check mark here means I have it. So you, there should be a blue one always for the thing if you search, search something most of the time. And you want to go to the one with the question mark. And it will just say barrel and it will say from Excelize. Not the blue one because the blue one you gotta pay for. So when you go into it, and this is how you get, this is how you get the tweaks. You go into it, and up here it should say install. Since I already have it, it says modify. Um, but right now, it's uh, for you guys. It would say install. Sorry, my iPod's a little glitchy. How did that come up? Anyway, so you want to click install, which will be right here. And then another thing will come up, and you want to click confirm. Then a bunch of codes and stuff will come up. And once they're done, at the bottom, like right here, it'll either say return to Cydia or restart Springboard. I'm not sure. Um, when you have something that says restart Springboard, it's going to restart your iPod. Now, if it, if it works and it spins, it, when, it, when it spins around the circle, um, if it freezes, what you want to do, you want to hold the top button of your iPod while holding the um, home button, which is this one right here, and it'll restart it. Now, if the Apple symbol comes up and it restarts that way, then you're going to have to just boot it like I showed you, but if it, uh, if it just goes to your lock screen, you'll be fine. Now, um, that's the problem with getting the tethered. Jailbreak, you have to do that every time. Uh, some of these tweaks, um, you, ha you have to restart the springboard and it will, like, y you'll have to just boot it again, but some of them you don't. I'm not sure about Barrel, I kind of forget. But once you've got Barrel installed, go to your settings. 
now wh when you get a tweak or whatever um just hold on because it's loading and you want to here they are this is where they'll be so you'll just have barrel so click on barrel and here this is really all you need mode so this is how your apps will move across the screen so right now I have cube outside so they move like a cube now on my computer sometimes it's laggy, laggy and you can't see it doing that so I'm going to show Pac-Man and see if I can get it to actually work uh, hold on here I'll, I'll stop it like that see that that's how they move around when I'm sliding it side to side now I prefer the cube outside but there's so many things here to pick from so you can look at those oh. and this is cube outside see it turns like a cube cube yeah sorry about the lag I think it's just this program I got iDemo or whatever okay now these are the ones I have here um, activator I'm not sure what that is I don't know I didn't actually try to get it but I don't know why I did Android lock XT you you probably want Android lock barrel big fire guard and gravity board and winter board these are the best ones that's why I have them so uh, Android lock it's like an Android phone lock but you can like change so change appearance. Um, oh wait, no. Select theme. So right now I have it on Pac-Man. If you've noticed, um, to get into my iPod, you have to know which way to move Pac-Man. So that's how you have to get in. Um, and you can change it to look like Android HQ, which is the original version on an Android phone. But then there's Pac-Man Blades, Home God, Square, and Squares. Or you can just have no theme. So, and then you change the pattern, how you want to move it. And, yeah, that's Android Lock. Bigify is how you move your apps and stuff. So, this is how I got my thing split in half. You can just make it, so there's a texture that I have it like that. You can make it like, say, pine or, say, say granite. It looks pretty cool, but I like diagonal the best. You don't have to have one on. You just click off, and then they'll look normal. And this can make them bigger, and this can like change the color of them, everything. But once you're done doing something to Bigify, you always have to click Apply Changes. That's what you have to do. Um, now, that will restart your iPod, but not so you have to do Just Boot again. It'll just do it quickly, like very, very quickly. And, you, and it'll be fine. Like You don't have to restart and get Just Boot and all that stuff. Okay, grab a board. This is so you're gonna to want to go into activation methods, methods, and you're gonna to want to pick one of these, one of these four. So I have it on short hold right now. So that means, hold on, I hold my home button for a short time, and all my apps are now affected by gravity. So if I turn my iPod sideways, hold on a sec. So we're just a sec. Let me get to the last page. Like that. I hold it. They all fall and they're affected by gravity. Now I'm turning it upside down now. Now I turn my iPod normal. Now I turn my iPod on its side. Now I turn it on its other side. And back to normal. And they all just fall all over the place. And you can still go into them while they're falling. I find it pretty cool. Um, and the next one is Winterboard. Winterboard's very popular. Uh, barrel and Winterboard gotta be the most popular ones. Um, Gravelboard's actually pretty popular too, but Winterboard and Barrel are the most popular. Winterboard, um, it gives you like a bunch of things that you can do to your, like, like your, uh, like as the background or whatever. So my background's like this. I got that from Winterboard. And it can also change like your start, like your lock screen background. 
Like there's this one, it's like falling leaves, and leaves actually fall across your screen. It's pretty cool. There's some pretty cool ones. Um, that's really all I wanted to show you guys. So the ones I showed you, all you have to do is do exactly what you did for Barrel. You search it in your city of thing, and then you click install and then confirm. And like I said, if it says um, springboard or whatever, that means you're going to have to just boot it. So it's a pain to just boot it every time, but that's how you have to do it if you want to jailbreak it right now. Or you can wait. But uh, I'm not very good with patience, so I wanted to do it right away. So I thought I'd show you guys that. That's really about it. Part two of my video. So uh, make sure you check out part one too. Okay, that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye.